What's up, YouTube? This is Boxing Wave. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's talk Canelo Alvarez and pre-talks with possibly fighting Billy Joe Saunders May 2020. But before we go into any of that, let's talk about this fight from last weekend. All right, a couple days ago, Billy Joe Saunders fought Marcelo Coseres, Argentinian fighter, undefeated, all right, 28-year-old. Never seen him before, never heard of him before. Okay, just like Devin Haney, I'm thinking like because they're having this whole YouTube celebrity boxing thing, I figured that they would give Devin Haney an easy opponent, find out that this guy had an extensive amateur background. He was undefeated. He was tall. He was lame. He was rangy. And that ended up being a a, a pretty tough fight for Devin at, at, at certain spots of the fight. Okay. Uh, but this fight here between Saunders and Coceres was actually a really close fight. I know the unofficial scorecard had it a draw going into that 11th round. And, you know, to be honest with you, I wouldn't be mad at anyone that said that Coceres was winning the fight. The fight was really that close, you know. Uh, I personally never seen Billy Joe Saunders get hit that much ever in his whole career in one fight. And I've been watching him for a long time. I've never seen him get hit that much in a fight. Okay, at will. I mean, Caceres was countering. He was landing jabs all night. He was landing right hands to the body all night long. All night long. His volume was up. And he was taking over a lot of those middle rounds. Okay, leading up into the 11th round. He was in control of the fight by the time he got stopped. So I am very surprised at the uh, opponents that were selected. Now, as a boxing fan, as a diehard boxing fan, I'm happy that Devin Haney fought his opponent and Billy Joe Saunders fought his opponent. They needed tougher fights. Saunders only had one fight at 168 and wasn't the best opposition. This was a better fight for him, you know, uh, but it's not a good look. It's not really a good look. I get, I get it. You had the... Uh, a lot of new fans that were coming into it and watching this, you know, celebrity boxing match. So you had a bunch of YouTubers that follow these guys on YouTube and, you know, a lot of casual fans or new fans. And they probably were bored out of their mind because Saunders fight was a really, really technical fight. You know, it was a defensive fight. And so was the Haney fight. It wasn't an action packed fight. Neither fight was. Okay. Now, I thought the stoppage was very good. All right, I thought what Billy Joe Saunders did, the way he stepped around uh, Coceres, you know, landed that left, left that left hook low, and then followed it up with the right hand, and you know he threw a nice combination. The way he stepped around him while Coceres was was ducking low and landing, he he landed like three or four shots in a row, and it was a good combination, and it you know it put him down. And after that, shortly after that, Billy Joe Saunders dropped him two more times and they stopped the fight. He needed a stoppage win. I mean, listen, I mean, if it went to the cards, I I seriously doubt they would have given uh, Coceres that decision. You know, but even if he won, in my eyes, if even if, he, if I thought he won the last two rounds or so, I mean, Billy Joe Saunders, I mean, potential opponent for Canelo, Callum Smith, you know, unification matches. You know, the fact that he had a name and he's fought better oppositions and beat them undefeated. I, I seriously had doubts that Coceres was winning that fight. He might have had gained a lot of respect. And he did just gain a lot of respect from me. So if I ever see him in a fight with a, a, a top contender at the division again, you know, whether he goes back down to 160 or stay at 168, I'm definitely going to check him out. But uh, look, man. <laughs> Canelo's easily beating that guy we saw fight. All right, do I think Saunders was at his absolute best? No, he said something about being sick. Eh, I, I don't know about all that. Um, you know, I don't know if he really prepared for that opponent. You know, I don't know what, I, I don't know. I, all I know is that I've seen Saunders look better, but I feel that Coceres was doing everything right in the ring. So I don't want to take credit away from Coceres by saying that Billy Joe Saunders 
wasn't at his best. That's not fair because I saw I, I'm watching this. I'm watching a fight myself and I'm saying, oh, I like what Caceres is doing. I like the punches. I like his punch selection. You know, I like his counter punching. I like what he's doing in there and everything he's doing in there. I can see Canelo doing it even better. So even though this is a fight that I want to see, I've expressed this on my channel several times, even while Saunders was at 160. I've always wanted to see Saunders fight Canelo Alvarez. But from that performance right there, Canelo should have easy work against Billy Joe Saunders. If Saunders come anywhere close to that level. You know, Saunders would have to be on his super A game. And that's another thing. He fights on a level of his opposition. He's saying something about him being sick. No, I've seen Saunders not look so good when he fought the lower opposition. So that might be one of those fights, or maybe he just fought a guy that we all slept on. Because Caceres was doing well. It wasn't about Saunders just doing bad. It was that his opponent was doing well at the same time. I like what he was doing. But um, I, I still like the fight. I still like the fight, and I do think Saunders would be... Uh, uh, at his very best if he were to fight Canelo Alvarez. You know, if they actually agree on making that fight, I think Saunders, at this point, he needs to stay fit. Don't blow up in weight. You know, he didn't look in his best shape, all right, physically. He looked a little soft, you know, around his, his stomach and his back area. I've seen him look a little bit more ripped, okay? So he needs to get back in shape. He needs to be in his best shape. OK, because you don't stand a chance if you're not at your absolute best. In fact, Billy Joe Saunders on his best night. Only that's the only guy that has any chance of winning. OK, um, I know he looked very impressive against David Lemieux. But if Canelo were to fight David Lemieux, I would expect Canelo to stop David Lemieux. That's that's how I would see that fight going. So it was a great performance, a great performance boxing lesson he gave to David Lemieux for sure but I would expect Canelo to stop David Lemieux you know I know Lemieux has a lot of power and everything but his boxing ability is really off you know so I don't want to give you know I don't want to glorify that win against David Lemieux I mean we've seen Lemieux get outboxed we've seen him get stopped before all right uh you know you bank too you bank uh that was a good win back at that time. But Eubank has improved since then and lost again in better fashion since then. Right? So I'm not going to over glorify that, that win either. Okay? Now, like I said, I still like the fight. I still like the fight because I do believe that Saunders is going to come on his A game. But he has to stay in shape. He has to stay fit. At least stay fit. Try to stay as close to the weight as you can because we already know if he does sign to fight Canelo, we're going to get some sort of rehydration clause because we got it in the last two fights. We got it at Dan uh, with Daniel Jacobs at 160. We got it against uh, uh, Canelo at 175. So you better be sure that Canelo will be using that IBF, those old IBF rules with the rehydration clause. They'll be saying they weigh in. All right. He can't weigh over 10 pounds, 10 pounds over the weight limit. All right, so, so Saunders is going to have to wake up that morning wearing, weighing 178. So he needs to stay fit because this is Canelo Alvarez we're talking about here. And listen, if you're going to be that open to the body like you were the other night, it's going to be a long night for Saunders. Okay. Saunders have a lot to prove anyway. He still has a lot to prove. He's had a lot of fights that no one really cared for. He had some good wins. Eubank was good. Andy Lee was a good win. Um, you know, uh, Lemieux was a good win. You know, uh, who else he fought? He fought uh, Monroe Jr., which was, you know, a sleeper. You know, two extremely defensive fighters. No one really took action there. I mean, Saunders definitely won the fight, but, you know, Willie can take the action out of the fight you know that's just basically his style so he has a lot to prove especially because of the fact that he popped on uh peds last year and didn't fight demetrius andre he he ducked that fight 
All right, they may end up moving up at 168. Never for Andre, you know. I'm saying I see that. Uh, I was watching a IBFP channel this morning. Uh, he was posting something about Saunders be willing to fight Andre if he doesn't get the Canelo fight. We'll see, we'll see, you know, because if he fought like that this past weekend against Andre, Andre would have beat him as well. Whether it was at 160 or 168, I would have definitely picked. Andre to win that fight. Saunders got to be on his A game. Whether he fights Andre, Canelo, whoever he decides to fight, as far as these elite fighters, he needs to be on his absolute A game. You know, he's a hit or miss type of fighter. All right. His potential and his talent is definitely there. We see it. All right. The way he's, you know, he moves. We didn't see a lot of movement here. I think he went into the fight thinking that he was going to just get an easy knockout. And that's the thing with this uh, uh, match room. They didn't set up him and Haney. Again, they did not set him up with an easy scrap. Him or Haney. Which is surprising because I thought they were just going to try to appe appease that crowd. And they actually put him in there with some real fighters. They were unknown, but they were real fighters. You know, both of these guys were no joke. They were no pushovers. All right, so... I like that as a boxer fan. I would I would rather see that. I know as the the newer fans, they probably want to see some action. They want to see some knockouts. They want to see some explosiveness. We didn't get that from Haney. We didn't get that from Saunders because they were in for tough fights. So you know the diehards might have appreciated those fights a little bit more. You know I know I did. All right. Um. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that, man. Uh, I'm going to wait and see what is going to happen. You know, I think Canelo, it looks like Triple G is going to have another fight in between whenever he, uh, you know, gets his opportunity to fight uh, Canelo again, if he gets an a, a opportunity. But it's looked like that's probably going to happen again. Excuse me. So we're just going to sit back and wait until uh, we're going to wait for the Canelo sweepstakes and see who he decides to fight. There's so many options. you got guys on 175, 168, and 160. All right, but it looks like uh, Billy Joe Saunders is, seems very believable. I can see that fight happening. All right. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe, support the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.